Hello everyone and welcome to Oxenfree. This is a little indie game that has been recommended to me quite a few times and it has a sequel coming out this year I think. It was supposed to come out like late last year and then I think delayed into the start-ish of this year so probably pretty soon. And uh, yeah, I thought it was probably a good time to jump in and see what it's all about then. I don't really know anything about the game going in but uh, we, will, we will find out. We will find out together. So yeah. Let's see what the height is about. Military base. Well, Hang on, first things first. <laughs> I should have remembered. Uh, subtitles. Yeah, there we go. Lovely jubbly. It used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man! Those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Sag, you hate to hear it. You hate to hear it. Let's change this great formula. Alex? Hey, still with us? Hello. Oh. You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Ah, okay. So we're going to be using... Uh... Mission control to Alex. This is Big Papa. Yeah. Um, sorry. 8 p.m. Okay. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. Now what happened? No, wait. What happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah, blah, blah. They hit it off. Uh, why would you not want to tell that adorable. story? Why, why is that... Met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... So terrible. I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what? Does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? Uh... I don't know... Right, you're my stepbrother? Stepbrother? <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, how did you forget? cool, right? <laughs> cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eating your food. Smelling up your bathroom. <laughs> I, uh, have my own toothbrush. Well, yeah, no, it's a nice perk, I guess. Unless you're like a pyro or something. Just a klepto, so <laughs> you're in luck. I'll let them talk until my options, like, completely so, fade. how do you two know but I don't want to risk missing a oh, from way back conversation when, thing. Like Paleozoic, grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blocks. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy now to think about. Why? We were babies. It's funny. That's all. Okay, so we're learning a lot about the relationships between these people. Make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, so how do you it's a recording. It? They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. Oh, oh it's getting pretty get foggy. Picture. All of us. Uh, who's the uh, who's Shit. driving? Shit, that overwrote That's my response. Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Yeah, what's up with that? Does no one normally go there at night? Nobody really lives there, so no. And Karen's not gonna mind that we're spending the night. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah. Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. I mean, I don't know if that's true. Here's Pose good. the picture. There is a lot of dialogue. I don't, I, I don't want to talk over people. There, great. I'll magic erase all the words out and stuff, so don't worry. But like, holy shit, hey, they, Alex, they keep talking. on the radio, right? <laughs> The little portable one? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? Uh, right bumper? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So, tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But oh, 
Oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching That's down us. on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Aw, that's Here a good are friend. Red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. Baby carrots, do 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 do. <laughs> baby carrots, do <laughs> do awesome. do do. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. Lanto. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. Oh, right. I was if wondering why you put it away it, immediately. Why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. All right. Oh, that's cool. That's the little photo we just took. So, Ren is in the middle and Jonas is on the right, I think. I think. Yeah, so I'm going to try not to talk over people, but it does seem like there is a lot of dialogue, so, uh, yeah, we'll see. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. No, thank you. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. No. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, Dad, I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Just... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right. All right, but <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up with them. It's like a uh -oh, bunch of... Uh-oh, choices. No, it's, it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay, I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. Hmm. Okay, so there's there are choices to be made here. In case, whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know. Yeah, he is. Guy I know back home. Yeah, I mean, he's harmless, but yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. Not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Yeah, I'm sure you miss your friends. Eh, there's not much to miss, to be honest. Oh? Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. That was Mike's I was in the room. basement at my old house, so this Who's is Mike? an... That was, um... That was Mike's room, actually. So, there wasn't that much to set up. Oh. Oh, man, I'm sorry. That sounds like I Mike's dead. I didn't mean to bring it up. It's okay, you didn't know. I heard your mum's dead? <laughs> what? Uh... Okay, I heard, let's go for that. Um, I think from my mom that you, uh... Went to jail? Yeah, well... Don't believe everything you hear. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean <laughs> Wait, your someone. mom's going around telling people you were in jail? And you're saying don't believe everything you hear, even though it's from your mom? <laughs> when the flag is flying, we are... Funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. I like the music. It's kind of synthy, vibey, <laughs> cool sounding. Okay, so Mike, if if he's just moved in because his was it his is his mum's married my dad? No, wait. I thought. Wait, no. The other option was your mum's dead. So I guess it's his dad has married my mum, and he's moved in with us, and he's taken. Mike's room, and the way they were talking, it sounds like Mike is dead, so... I guess that's my... Must be a brother? It's kind of kitschy, right? It's 
Kind of catchy? Yeah, it's like a quiche. That's not... No, that's... That's not what that is. <laughs> uh, it, it's I think not they quiche. this off at night <laughs> since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure, either one. Beep, 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 beep. Oh. Oh. I was, I was looking for like a sprint button. But, uh... There's always a way out. No matter how bad a nightmare is, and mine are real bad, you can always leave. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Real life isn't like that. Any further nuggets of wisdom? Okay, I think it's looping. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, that's it. Nothing else is vibrating uh, on the controller. Lives here and the stores are all closed. Whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. I mean, there's also one over there. <laughs> boo, boo, boo. What is this? A fountain or just a statue? Just a statue. Oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the the um, the radio guy thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Uh, okay, sure. 102.3. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched... Didn't they say that radios don't work here? ...and commissioned into service at the end of that year Never under the command of Lieutenant James... Kind of creepy in a way, right? On October 28th, 1943, <laughs> Yeah, my dad had a bunch of comics named that from like the 70s, but it was like literally Marines fighting with Satan or dinosaurs or something. ...the only submarine casualty. Named after the Hawaiian god of the... Interesting, interesting. Parks and Facilities Office. Ren's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, all right. Boo, 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 boo. How far ahead did Ren go? He could have just, like, waited for us slightly down the road, out of earshot, and then we could have met up immediately after. Man, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Well, we're here. Maybe I want to buy an ornament or something. True. How dare they. Oh. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. <laughs> we are here to drink and be stupid. A tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trolling. Uh-huh. Wait, how'd they pull that? Isn't, like, security an important thing in military bases? You would think. Yes, but apparently the desire to have cheap sex with floozies will overcome all borders. It's the American way. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark, the town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You You'll hear voices or just sounds. And they're impossible. No, there must be some kind of logical explanation. Like, like the rocks are somehow able to conduct lower frequencies or pick up broadcasts from further away or something. Something. Or it's aliens. So back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? I thought we weren't mentioning her name again. <laughs> like owns or owns some of the island or something? She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you'd call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. Man, that woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. Maybe I'd get bored with the same scenery, the same parrot screaming at me. Well, of course you'd get bored. You're bored here. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Dun dun dun. Oh, really? Yeah, so... Don't get too used to her. And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was <laughs> only over the pants stuff? 
Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. What the fuck does that mean? That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want, forget I said anything. Thanks so much for bringing me out, you Damn, guys. Damn, I missed the I fuck. Can tell that... I'm gonna have a really good time. We, um... That one disappeared so fast, I missed it. So much. Yes, normally I just agree with whatever she says. So this is unusual. Alright, okay, that was a lot of conversation. I noticed that this sign popped up a thing over there, so I was worried if I go further right, it would, like, transition to a new area, and then I'd lose the conversation, so... The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look, there must be something. I mean, if Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. Okay, what was it telling me to do? Ah, right, okay, we have a map. Edwards Island. Okay, so we are way down here. Oh, there's... Okay, over in the next bit, Discovery Cliffs, there's two more people waiting for us. Uh, I guess that's Ren's friends. And then we've got Beacon Beach. We've got the Adler Estate. That's the woman we were talking about. Epiphany Field. To Towhee? Towhee? Woods? Uh, campgrounds. Relay Point. Bridge Stand. Harden Tower. Milner Outpost. Facilities. Fort Milner. U.S. Army. RCS. Cool. Okay. Uh, can't go any further right. There was a thing to touch here, right? Push. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. The old heave ho. Heave ho. Heave ho. Oh, I see. I was like, where are we actually going from here? Isn't this just going to push it off the edge of the cliff, but we're actually, uh, we're climbing up and over the fence with it. I see. I'm really vibing on the music, man. Seems like there's a, just an absolute ton of dialogue programmed in, because there's all the different, like, there's three different conversation options for each one. So, like, there's, like, triple the amount of dialogue that you actually see. 9 p.m. Than you actually see. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j just be cool, okay? Okay. No pouting or complaining or anything. All right? Deal? Why wouldn't I? Don't be like just how you can be sometimes. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, and okay, Jonas. Now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, it was nothing, really. Just leave it alone, Ren, alright? You don't have to- Reginald, I hear you over there. Damn it. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying- Fucking cut off the dialogue. I was about to tell a story, what was it? About I should just stop Ren? moving. Every time oh, well, people are talking, I should wait. stop moving. Because I really don't want to cut out conversations. Hey, we started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. That's yeah. what we just said. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but is she's... your stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... <laughs> what the fuck? Are you I'll stupid? You three guesses. <laughs> Her mom's getting remarried, that's all. She's getting remarried to a guy, and that's the guy's son. So, domino effect? Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole okay, had that she tennis seems, thing. She and, seems weird. Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just 
Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Okay, she seems shit. Clarissa, seriously, who even invited you? Um, uh, I did. Ren invited Nona, and Nona invited me. Though, begged me would maybe be the better way to put it. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really beg. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Hey, what about me? What about you? Damn! Oh, I get it. I'm not even on the spectrum. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. Bands but up. this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on there. Faster. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing, right? Right, guys? Uh, yeah, the beach. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Spending the night with this fucking bitch on the left. Sounds great. Nona seems cool, though. From the couple of words she said, she seems a bit shy, but I think cool. But Clarissa seems terrible. Also, why is she like... <laughs> what's the white shit coming out of her? Is that is she holding a cigarette or something? First impressions are... Ren... Pretty cool dude. Maybe a bit too, uh, what's the word? Uh, I don't know. A bit too much. <laughs> Maybe a little. But uh, he seems cool. Uh, Jonah is pretty reserved, but like, it's a very awkward situation for him. Like, moving into someone else's life like that. Like, I would feel awkward as fuck if I was moving into someone else's life in the way that he seems to. So, totally understandable. Seems cool. Nona seems chill, and Clarissa seems the worst. So, I imagine we're going to have a lot of tension in this game. We'll probably come from talking to Clarissa, I would imagine. Initial impression. Beacon Beach. Whenever you're any game. I'm surprised it takes this long to load. It's not uh, not the most, you know, massive open world, visually intensive thing. There we go. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Get drunk, I think? Other than, obviously, go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Yeah, let's just get drunk. It's supposed to be a party, right? Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Oh. Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local <laughs> news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Her family's been moving back and forth on the ferry, getting all of her crap. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Uh, isn't it truth or dare? Isn't it, a uh, truth or dare? This is better than Truth or Dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. What? You get asked a question. Uh, can't say I've ever played a Truth or Dare that ends in that licking lied, someone's butthole. Gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay. So, first, we're I'll gonna. I'll start. Ren. Uh huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona? Wow, just getting right into it, huh? Marissa. Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Uh, Clarissa, come on. You're supposed to ask, like, have you ever stole something? Not super weirdo probing stuff. You ask probing stuff if you play the game right, Alex. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods. Now no, just face it. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... That's all. She's cool. She's... She's just a friend. Oh, yes. Yeah. Ease off the throttle for the next one, okay, Clarissa? Yeah. What? This game isn't any fun if you don't get a stomach ache. 
Okay, it's Wren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Yo. Uh-oh. Lay it on me. Please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny, I don't know. Uh, and well, it's Jonas definitely kill Cla family, Clarissa. So he's excluded. Why, thank you. Well, I think I'd marry you, I guess actually. I know Ren, so I marry Ren. <laughs> so not a lot of surprises there. Perfect. Stay at home husband. <laughs> so okay, that means screw Nona <laughs> so I can kill Clarissa. Nona, she seems like she'd be present and giving, unlike some people here. Hey, I'm present. I wouldn't lose my place or nothing. Scout's on it. Oh, God, this is such a horrible turn. <laughs> Which, of course, means that you'd strangle Clarissa in her sleep if you ever got the chance. Yes. What a shocker. <laughs> eh, she got what was coming to her. Yeah, I mean, you did shove her into the community pool in sixth grade. <laughs> I did, didn't I? I was a hilarious kid. Sounds like you were a terrible person from early on. So, Alex's turn? Yep, ladies' choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great. Here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? <laughs> Professor Snodgrass, the platypus man? Marissa. Oh, boy. Yes, Mum? This is pretty fun just watching, I'll admit. Well, wait. Do you like anyone? Like, like, like anyone? There's no one in school worth liking now. Come on. Ouch. So, no, I don't. But nice try. Clarissa's turn now. Man, she is you actually got a new awful. Brother. Pretty exciting. <laughs> I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm um fine with. Is it, there a really? question here? Is well, there like a question coming or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced. Oh wow! Again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't I don't really need to know the situation before. Okay, just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Oof. Just that Alex's mom is right. happy now. Yeah, how it was can my we brother. Be sure you know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you- What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. <laughs> Wait, let's- let's not stop like this. We should- like... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, <laughs> I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Please do, maybe, so we can leave you. that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. What is your fucking problem? Man, what is your problem, Clarissa? Just what did we- what did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? Nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me yeah, know. Yeah, I think we won't Super. let you know. Uh, if we find anything more interesting than that, I think we'll be too involved in our own fun to come get you. Well, wouldn't you know it, that's just fine by me. Why did she come? If she fucking hates well, everyone here. Well, she this doesn't hate by Nona, checking but... out the caves. Nona, wanna come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? But like I said, you're a strapping young lad. And you're not? <laughs> okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh yeah, is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Nona seems great, but she seems like she's being Alex, controlled you by check Clarissa. Out the caves or... Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Huh? Come on, I'll push you over. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot. Whenever you're ready. John. Oh, what? They're so, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? Uh, super weird. It's Ren, so definitely ten. He gets excited easily, but he has the concentration of a goldfish. The fact that he keeps demanding we see it must mean something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal, annoying self. 
Sorry about that. She's just the worst. That's worse than annoying. She's like actively being fucking terrible. Just know. Oh, fuck. I you missed know, it. It's not about you. It's her own messed up crap and whatever. Thanks for uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the uh, the game. I didn't think you would. But oh, we got another you one. You know, you could have and you didn't. So thanks. Yeah, Ren, about Nona. What? Did she say anything? Because if she said anything, you should tell me. Like, word for word. Uh, go for it. I think you should go for it. Oh, yeah? I don't know about... Yeah. I don't know about girls I mean, wannabe robots. So that's not once, a universal so. truth, but... Oh, all right. I see where your head's at. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Me, me, me. Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Ah. Brownies. <laughs> the old no, weed brownies. Mind, magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced with certain qualities. Hmm. Like blackcurrants, well, right? <laughs> and raisins. Much. Yeah, no that's what you mean. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here and just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. Okay. I mean, I'm hearing Morse code right now. Is that not what I'm looking for? Oh. What the fuck is that? Holy crap. Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. How... How is this? It made light How appear? can this be possible? What? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. Sure thing. This is so cool. I know! I Person would be pretty freaked out. See this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? Oh. I see. She dated Michael for 5 seconds like three Oh, it wasn't ago. it wasn't when he died. It was for a couple of months, a year and a half ago. Whatever. She never liked me. Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way. It would be more understandable if they were dating when he died. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full. But it sounds like they weren't, so. so fuck her. <sighs> Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Uh, are you okay? Are you okay? I think so. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. Yeah, I mean, you said where these rocks are, right? Sounds so. Yeah, it sounds. Uh. Scary? It's freaking me out a little. Yeah. I had the option to say no to checking Wait, out the cave, that? right? So I could have just missed this. There's like a lot of stuff here. There's like. This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last words. I called it. No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there. Like. A giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, if it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here because I think, shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. <laughs> this is the one Nona took. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, like I could have chosen, it gave me the option to say yes or no to coming into the cave. So this is all optional. I guess we'd have been having a conversation with Nona and Clarissa instead. So now I'm missing that by coming in here, I guess. 10 p.m. Okay. It's already been two hours. God, time goes quickly. 
Jonas! 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 Where are you at, bro? These are climbable walls. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Should I be scared? I don't know. Like, I don't really know what type of game this is. <laughs> like, I guess it seems to be sort of walking simulator y, which some people, that's like when I say walking simulator, I'm not meaning that, like, in an insulting way. Some people are like, walking simulators aren't games. Uh, hello? Can I move up here? It won't let me get down. There we go. It wouldn't let me get down, and then it wouldn't let me climb over. But no, I like what people call walking simulators, so that's totally cool. I'm just curious uh, if there's anything more. Are you Jonas, okay? are you alright? Shout if you're, like, bleeding or something. I'm sure he's fine. I do wish movement was slightly faster. It does feel kind of uh, slow going, moving around. Do, 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 do. Why would a guy bring an ashtray down here? Or a pen? Unsure. Uh oh, what is this? See a man about a dog. See a man about a dog. Sure, we'll do. Written in red? <laughs> hey, bro. Didn't you hear ah. me calling for you? Jesus, you scared me. Oh, I scared you? You scared me. I had no idea where you were. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought I thought I heard somebody down here, but you know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this... how this happens. It's crazy. No, it's... Uh, it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? No? <laughs> what? Kinda? Sounds like radio static. What could that be? Echoes? That does not sound like anything like a person. Off the walls? It's me, I failed geology. <sighs> There was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. I mean, it must right just be there. further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. Let's never get Clarissa. At any point. The less she is around, the less friction there will be. Pod, 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 pod. Like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? I don't know. Pockets of it are cold. This is but very pretty. Not all of it. What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating um, oh. triangle light thing? Right at the top. Spinny triangle. What? Um, yes. It, it must be like a, like a rainbow or like a reflection of light. Those, um, exist, right? Um, cave, triangle rainbows? Uh, maybe? Until last week, I hadn't heard about parrotfish either, so I guess anything's possible. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there in the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. Okay. I think it's all the same thing. Really? You think? Definitely. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. Okay, one sec before we do that. What is this? Saw the man, but not the dog. Let's Apart from the, um, triangle, this is honestly the craziest thing in here. Like, how did he even get in? And I mean, aside from some, like, water damage, it's not really even that junky. I know. We can open it? Nope. <laughs> that shit locked. I guess it's locked. Yeah, I already tried. Did you? You were way back to the left when we arrived. Saw the man, not the dog. What the crap does that mean? 
A guy who can't see dogs? Uh, did you see the first half? Did you see the first half? See a man about a dog? Yeah, I don't get it either. Unsure. Right, let's try the old radio. Alex, really, I want to see what it's going to do. Oh! Oh my god. The fuck? Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you doing this? Whoa! Uh, I can't even... Like, what is... What? Is it... it what? What is happening? It's vibrating real hard at points, but it's not extending any further. Oh, there we go. What is occurring? What the... Uh, hello? Uh, hello? This is insane. Who are you? Uh, who... Are, are you... Who are you on the... Listen, Bob 2. Shame 2. Sleeping. Time. Time. Yeah. Is possible. I don't know what you mean. I... I, I don't know what you mean, so I can't... Bob 2. Leave, children. Bye. See you soon. Alex! Uh, what's happening? What? What the fuck? Are we underwater? Wouldn't we be drowning? <laughs> I don't think I held my breath before we were suddenly underwater. Okay. Well, this is not what I was expecting, but it's very cool. I like it. Some kind of fucking sci-fi supernatural type shit going on. Alex! Alex! That's me. Oh, where are we? 11 p.m. We were in there an hour? Alex? <sighs> are you okay? I'm fine. You alright? I thought- uh, I'm, uh, I'm fine. God. You sure? Sure as I'm gonna be. I'm as sure as I think I'm gonna be. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there. But the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of <laughs> pooped itself. I don't know. This is kind of exciting, right? Exciting? Alex, we don't... To think something's exciting, you kind of have to know what that something is first. And we just got crapped out of the laser light show from hell, so... I'm not Let's sure find this qualifies out. as, like, something good. Yeah, we don't know what's going on, but it's, like, weird and crazy and magic. So, I mean, don't you want to... No, I don't. Whatever you're going to say, unless it's leave, I don't <laughs> want to at all. Boom. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little de pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. So... Jonas, what? You think I somehow teleported us here? If I could do one-tenth of what happened back there, I wouldn't haze the new kid. I'd rob a bank. <laughs> Maybe that's your Wednesday. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. Wait, Jonas, seriously, like, what just happened? My radio, I guess, opened something, and that something did something else. It, it did. And that something was really friggin' scary and horrible, so let's just skip to the part where we get off the island and start suppressing it in therapy. <laughs> Okay, so we are now we are now all the way up there. We got from Discovery Cliffs all the way no wait, uh Beacon Beach all the way up here. Huh. Okay. Can we go uh, through this? Don't touch that, please. I'd really prefer not telling your mom that you're dead. She might not take too well to the news. 
This all seems a little much, right? Like it's just a rusty old communications tower. They're not keeping dinosaurs in here. Maybe some kids climbed it drunk, fell off, and died. I don't know, but it's here, so don't touch. I mean, it used to be a military base, they said, right? So I guess it makes sense to have electric fences around military stuff, I suppose. Okay, all right. That is where we're going to leave off the first episode here, I think. That is very interesting. Not at all what I was expecting. I'm really liking the characters. I'm really liking the... Like, the setup here for whatever the fuck this story is going to be. So, uh, yeah, very intrigued. Hope you're enjoying as well. If you are, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And if you really like what I do here, there is a Patreon link in the description. Anything you could afford to send my way would be hugely helpful with the ongoing running of the channel, the buying of games, all that jazz. I would massively appreciate any support there. And yeah, I will see you next time for more Oxenfree. Thanks for watching. See you then.